National Anthem, Johnston High School Chorus. Once again, good morning, and uh, thank you for taking the time out of your busy day to help remember those who have paid this uh, ultimate sacrifice. You know, today's a day for those, um, obviously, who have paid the ultimate sacrifice. But let's not forget about those who are in battle um, every single day, um, protecting our country, giving us the opportunity to have to enjoy life as it is. Um, I do have to uh, touch on a story about a month ago. I was in West Virginia, and um, uh, unfortunately, I'm not a military man, but uh, it touched me to have so many people involved in the military. And we were in a small town, about 2,500 people in West Virginia, and they were going through with the, uh, uh, the uh, Vietnam Veterans Wall. So I said to my son, Joe, who I was visiting in West Virginia, I said, Joe, let's go see the wall. And uh, as we pulled up to the wall, which obviously is an amazing sight, I said to uh, I said, Joe, um, let's go see the wall. So he says, uh, I'm going to sit in the car. He says, no, you're not. I said, you're going to get out of the car, and you're going to go visit the wall. You're going to see the wall, and you're going to respect those people that gave us the opportunity to enjoy the freedom and the liberties we have today. So, um, you know, it's important that being said, it's important that we continue to remember those who, uh, who have paid the ultimate sacrifice, as well as those who continue to battle each and every day. But then after I come back from the wall, I ran into a Vietnam vet, and he said, um, I said, what a, what a beautiful sight. Um, he said, you know, uh, it's been 35, 40 years in Vietnam, and he says, uh, and I remember they forgot about us back in Vietnam, but he said, uh, they're giving back our dues right now, and um, I wouldn't have ever done anything else different fighting for our country. So uh, you have to respect that, that, that brotherhood and that camaraderie that the, uh, the soldiers give us each and every day. So uh, today's a great day to say thank you and uh, remember those who have paid the ultimate sacrifice. Um, Mayor Joseph Palacino. I want to say that we should really think of Memorial Day every day, not just one day a year. I think we should think about those who did make the ultimate sacrifice as well as those who are fighting for our country every day. And I've said this a hundred times, you know, a lot of people look up to uh, the, the basketball players and the football players and the hockey players as heroes. They're not the heroes. The names on these plaques are the heroes. The men and women that are in uniform, those are our true heroes. And we not forget that. In Flanders Field, Thomas Dolan, Johnson Police Department, Master Sergeant, United States Army. Flanders Field. Flanders Field, the poppies blow between the crosses, row on row. That mark our place, and in the sky, the larks still bravely sing and fly. Scarce are heard amid the guns below. We are the dead. Short days ago, we lived, felt dawn, saw sunsets glow, loved and were loved, and now we lie in Flanders Field. Take up our quarrel with the foe. <coughs> to you, from our falling hands, we throw the torch. Be yours to hold it high. If you break faith with us who die, we shall not sleep till the poppies grow in Flanders fields.
Uh, right after the ceremony, we will have some coffee and at the Veterans Pavilion right here in the center of the park. At this time, can I have the Ranasa Gar and John's complete department retire the colors? <laughs>